Okay. Ah, uh, please keep quiet. Okay. Can you please reduce your TV as well? Okay. Good afternoon, everybody. I feel like this week's video is gonna be a bit different because. Oh, hold on. I'll be back. I'm back. So what we need to do is um. This vlog probably will be going up on a Saturday, so I am stuffing my cash envelope and I want to I don't want to just do that one video and Just put it up. I want to have a vlog to it. So I'm starting on Wednesday So I'll be putting it down right now So no this I don't need this This is the cash Gone to the bank and I've gone to redraw the money. Wow, look at that. Jordan, I don't want no noise, please. Look at this. Money, money, money. Okay. If only this, my children can be quiet. So, that's all the cash I've got for today. And I am. So I am going to be stuffing them. I withdraw, I think I withdraw 430. It was supposed to be 450, but yesterday I bought some stuff from. Ooh, I'm so dark. I got. I got. I don't know. The angle today. I think it will come up so. so I got um what's the quote? Jordan, I'm busy. I got I took out three I mean four hundred and um thirty. I want to take four fifty but because um I have already I bought some stuff yesterday from Lidl for twenty pounds. Yes, I think they were from they were from um, toiletries. I got Jaden's Pampers. Not only Jaden's Pampers was six pounds. Anyway, I'm going to do the mass half camera. But it was something excited. I wanted to talk talk to you guys about. I'm just loving this budgeting thing. Like my thoughts. Sorry, obviously, guys. <laughs> Everyone knows Jordan, and Jordan is just down there. Anyway, I'm going off point again. I was so excited that I was looking through the money pouch stuff, and we saved money. I can't believe it. We have twenty pound left from our shopping money, actually, because I didn't see it there. But we still have twenty pound left. I'll be back in a second because I'm going to be putting the money in a jar. My piggy jar there, but I'll, I think I'll do that later. Then for my entertainment money, we still have some money left. We have some tokens. Let me show you guys like this. So we have some money left. We have twenty pounds and some receipts. Also some voucher, McDonald's voucher. I'm gonna leave that there in so that if the boys need McDonald's, you can buy some McDonald's. Got two McDonald's vouchers in there, and those are vouchers. So I'm gonna put all this away. So these are all the coins we got from. That's all the money we have from last month. Oopsie, sorry guys. So that's all the money we have from last month. I'm super excited! I am actually actually proud of myself because i'm able to still save money even though we you know went out last minute stuff but i am super excited i am so 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 excited so i'm going to be stuffing up the cash envelope jordan stop it i don't know why i'm so blurry i'm going to be stuffing up the cash envelope but you guys know the one i'm always excited about which is always my shopping money but i'm not going to show you guys that because i don't want to bore you guys jordan what is it Jaden, stop it 
Where's your trousers? Your trousers. Why is it so dark? No, JJ. And you, old Jack's boat, Rockwell Tales, today at 5.45. I know it's only you that will talk, Jaden. Who asked you to talk? Hmm? I've finished doing the... I finished stuffing it. I didn't really want to bore anybody with it. So I just did it off camera. Oh, God. My room is so bright. So what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm going to I'm so excited that I have extras. So these are my penny jars. Let me leave you guys over there. Let me mm. Mm. Out to stand you again. So that's my penny jars. I'm going to pull all the all this one in there and this one I've always wished there was money in there but there's none so I'm going to put that 25 pounds I'll break the 10 10 pounds into 20 pounds into two so I'm going to put this one in here It's, it this looks like a sinking fund, but I've not started my sinking fund yet. This is just that I have extra this month. So it's twenty-five pounds. So So that is that for the stuffing of cash envelope. <laughs> I'm just gonna relax here for a bit before <sighs> I go and meet those boys again. Oh, at least they're having lunch. I hope everyone is doing great. Oh, my room is so bright and oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. I had a long day today. I'll probably catch you guys later. Let me sleep for. 30 minutes later but i'll show you guys what my electricity is saying then if you can see from last month we still have 10 pounds in there and i pull um i pull um 50 pound last month so it's looking like i'm going to be saving some money for this month so I'm gonna try and do like um, 30 pounds so to that 40 pounds and see where that goes so I'm going to, to do, I'm going to the shop with the boys when they finish eating I will charge 30 pounds in there good saving I'm so proud of myself <laughs> I just woke up actually the nap was needed anyways see you guys later hello today is uh i think it should be thursday today okay i was editing the vlog for saturday and i looked at the clip and i was like mm, this clip is more or like more or less like him um, talking about saving money i was actually showing how I'd save money and initially I wanted to um, make a video about how to save money because I feel like I've been doing pretty good I'm not praising myself but I think I've been doing really good when it comes to budgeting and saving literally if you know the old Abby you will think <laughs> I literally had, had I've had a um, behavior trans transplant. Like you literally think someone took me to surgery and you know reevaluates my life because the old Abby. I may I would pretty say I do 
I'm a workaholic. I make a, I make money, not a lot of money, but I spend it. But this new me, like, I still look at myself. I'm like, really, Abby, you've changed. You know when you look at yourself and you still compliment yourself. I do that. So I just wanted, I wanted to actually do a video on um, how to save. And every time I, I've have had my notes and everything, but every time I want to do it, I just don't get the chance i just felt like let me do it this way if you guys don't mind i do apologize this is supposed to be a vlog but i mean i'm convenient it's very convenient for me to do it this way let me put you guys here so you guys are literally standing on the new tripod that i got that's me over there i was just editing i was so cringy let me close it <laughs> as i said i was editing and i'm trying to tidy up the kitchen yes the boys are okay they're actually in bed right now but anyway i don't i'm not even sure they're gonna be in this vlog if you guys would really ooh, let me zoom because if you guys really pad at me, I know you guys all Jordan's grandma on YouTube. They're like, Where is Jordan? I didn't see Jordan. But sorry, I Abby, mean, you're talking too much. Continue. So, actually, I wanted to do a video on how to save. And every time I want to do it, I never get a chance to do it. And while I was um, meditating or thinking, I was like, Abby, why not just add it to this vlog and just try to it how to save? But if anybody still want me to sit down and talk about how to save, I can still do it. Let me see if I have my notes here. This is my notepad. Yes, I have my notes. I've actually written it down here. So, I'm going to put it here. Oh my God, I'm multitasking. I'll be washing plates and I'll be explaining to people how to save. So... I will be titling this video how to save on low income because I do save money and I literally just started saving this year it's not a lot of money I'm not even going to lie to you it's not a lot but it doesn't matter how much you're saving is the thought because I believe saving is an habit for you to save is a habit some are good at it some are bad at it that's literally what habit is you're either good at something or not good at it and for you to be good at um saving money you need to adapt the habits of you know okay do i want to do this do, is it gonna work for me is um uh, am I going to be able to keep up with this? But some people don't even try. I feel like that was the category I fell in. At first, I wasn't trying and I, I never knew I will be able to be saving because I didn't try. And as soon as I started early this year, it's something I, I wish I wish I know this long time ago. I wish there will be a multi by now. But it's not too late. It's not too late. Anybody, you can, I mean, anyone can do it. You can start anytime. But anyway, um, based on my notes, if you see me looking this way, is it I'm washing? I'm looking at my notes. I'll be keep talking five minutes. So based on my notes, the first point I put there is record your expenses by budgeting, uh, which was the first thing I did. I kept watching budgeting videos and all that. And I literally just fell in love with it and I started. So I started my budgeting, I think, March. I can't remember. But when I started, I do budget like little, little things. But recording it on YouTube and all that, I think it was March, May. I think it was May. And then February, March. No, it was March. It was March this year I started. And that's how I recorded. So if you want to be very good at saving you need to record your expenses and that would help you know exactly where you were spending your money on what you're buying what you're not supposed to be spending your money on and also i feel like with budgeting 
you can do anything you your, your normal day-to-day -day life whatever things that you buy but with budgeting it makes you know you're allocating a particular um amount on something it's not like you're just spending if you like if you're the kind of person that like to buy shoe and all that it's just basically knowing how much you have to spend on that but if you didn't budget it you just overspend i feel like that is what budgeting has um, taught me for the past few months that i have been doing it so record your expenses if you don't know how to budget i have a video on i'm gonna put a card up there so you can i feel like i explained in the way i can and if not check other people that are doing budgeting videos as well also my second point that i've put there is avoid spending unnecessarily that is try to find shortcuts to how and what to spend on like try to i mean try to do your hair yourself going out less you know uh what did i write here I can't remember where I read, but I'm just gonna speak out of my head. Avoid those unnecessary spending. Trust me, I'm, I'm sure one of my videos I've said this before that most people will spend too much, especially when it comes to food. And is yeah, I don't know about certain other countries because I live in the UK, so I can only speak for people for the fact that I live in the UK and I'm Nigerian. Most of us we spend money on that on on food. Hey, Edu will kill me one day because I'm always using him as an as an example. If you go to a dairy's house, ah, uh, that place is like supermarkets. They always, Edu, please, I beg you, don't kill me. There is always food, always food in his house, and sometimes I even do shopping for my house. I'll take some drink and all, and I'll bring it home because they have a lot. It's a good thing to buy food and bomb. It's a it's a good thing to have an excess food. But make sure you eat up the food. Finish eating it before you buy another one. You just don't go to the shop and keep buying and keep buying back. No. I'm not a saint. I used to do it. I don't know. I told you as I said from the beginning of this thing, I had the behavior trans transplant or they, they changed my behavior. But I was like that as well. But I just changed. Like I just keep, I just start buying things that I need. Most of us, if you check our cupboard, our food have expired. Some tin food has expired. Even our fridge. Some people they have plates in their fridge that is over a year. Like why? Why are you keeping it? Eat it, and you shoot it out because at the end of the day, all this food goes in and come out. It's not same. They stay in your body or do anything. But you know, let's try to avoid overspending. Let's try to you know stop. I don't know. Let's just try. Let's just get like it's been an habit for me now, and I really, really do enjoy. I still do it, the same thing I used to do. I still eat Chinese. I still buy pizza. I still, you know, I still buy clothes. But I have the amount I have to spend. I don't go. I don't spend unnecessarily. I don't buy unnecessary things. Before I even buy the clothes, I think about where am I going? Is it doing college party soon? Is it going to call me that there's a club? Let's go. If not, then I don't need the clothes. If not, I don't need the shoe. I have shoes to wear to church. Do I really need to do my hair? Can I not wear a wig? You know, things like that. We need to start adapting it in our life. I'm not saying, oh, your life is going to change drastically within just one time you start budgeting. No. If you're lucky like me, you you grab it so quickly. But if not, just keep trying. Just keep saving. Not for your own good. Because your own children will adapt from your attitude. And they would start doing it. So if you're overspending, if you're spending too much. If you're all about designer, buying a lot of stuff. Your child will grow up, you know, doing the same thing as well. Honestly, I feel like as a mom or whoever is watching this you know we need to set an example for us we all need to stop being in debt so at least if we were learning not to overspend and all that our children wouldn't get themselves into trouble of owning a lot of money they'll live a better life than we do anyway the third one that i have written in there is think of think of the things you want to save for okay yeah this is a big one 
So if you want to start saving, it's not easy. You can't just say, oh, I want to save and just carry that money and start saving every month or every, no. Think, look for a bigger picture. Look for something that, you know what? When you save and you put that money towards it, you'll be like, oh my God, you want it. Oh my God, this really what's it. Let's say for instance, your children haven't been out of the country. I would understand there are some parents in the UK or low income that it's very difficult for them to take their child to just, even even if it's just them, where is it? Okay, let me say Brooklyn's for instance. Uh, it's very difficult because you need to save at least almost like £1,000 including money and all that. It's very difficult if you're earning just a little bit of money and you know if you make that your point of um, what you really want to save for, put it there, put it in your vision board or write it down and say you know what I want to surprise my children and I want to take them out. Start saving. Use that as something that would motivate you to start saving. Because going to have to think about things like oh when you do it how would your children feel you know the joy the happiness the 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 excitement in their life well i'm just using my children as, a, as an example because i have two kids and i like to you know make them happy okay let's say for instance you don't maybe you don't have kids think about uh maybe you want to buy your own car I, I believe that you can get your own personal car without having to be paying for nice finance on cars. You can use that. Okay, actually, that's too much because I don't know how much to sell car because I don't own one. Let's say you want to buy a designer bag. Yes, if you're a bad person. You can use that with points of this and start saving. Look, or you want to have a big birthday party for yourself. Start even if it's 50, 50 pounds every month. Don't start with big one that you won't be able to afford. Start with little one. Just find something that you can hear. Then, the, this one is an extra point. Speak to other people that would want to do exactly what you are doing. Meaning, when you have friends, this is why you need friends or you have families. They're not just there for designing. They're there for you. For sometimes when you need things like this. You can't, I don't know about the people, I'm just speaking for myself. I can't start doing something on my own or, not like I can't, but if I have other people's support, I feel like I can do it, like I can be, um, what's the word? Yes, that word that you said. When I have people with me, I feel motivated. I feel, oh my God, I don't want to let people down. So when you speak to people that would want to do, be along do the same thing that you're doing like maybe your friends or your family tell them oh you know what maybe we should start saving even if it's one one pound even if it's two two pounds even, i don't know what age range watches my video even i would encourage as young as 15 years old and all that you know if you have a group of friends maybe you guys every week you guys start doing little saving then very soon maybe when you guys have the money you can all go for your spring shopping together that's how you can cultivate the habits because as i said earlier from the beginning of this video saving is an habit so when you start like that before you know by, by 20 by you will buy your own house look at me i don't have a house of my own that's how this cancer i'm misbehaving but if i've been saving because i started work as young as 17 if i've been saving uh -uh, i'll be rich now so I would encourage if there's any young person watching this video, try, get your friends involved. The ones that are serious, do not get friends that would, you know, have to to say, I don't have money, then everybody everybody will be looking like smeg. But get people that would encourage you, that would want to, that would see what your vision is and they want to follow your vision and do it with you. You get them involved and everybody starts saving together because one head, Oh, two head is better than one there's a lot of you guys you guys will make it and this brings me to how I save money if you guys don't want me to do this video like make another video like explain very well I will how I save money is a very very easy and a traditional way 
if you are i don't know i think other country do it as i always say if you're nigerian because i am nigerian and i think some Ghanaians do it it's basically the adjourn method or it didn't even call it so i think even faith they call it in their language ususu but in yoruba we call it adjourn me and my friends you know at the end of the month I, we've been doing this since god knows when oh we would um etch okay basically how it works is we all decide okay you know what we want to we want to save like 10 what's the 10,000 in my dream very soon amen we want to save 1,000 every month okay there's only me it's only me and faith and you're doing anyway but if you have people that you're look that trustworthy and all that you can get them either so let's say you want to save 1,000 pounds a month and there's five of you you guys can just say okay every month everybody brings to 200 pounds from whatever from your salary or if or no 1000 is too much so let's say 500 let's start with that because we're all on low, or low income so we want to save 500 and we're just five at the end of the month we need to each bring five five one one hundred hundred pounds then how we do it is we all pick a number we all agree on a number who wants to go first who wants to pick the money first whoever want to get the money first the first month the first person takes the 500 pounds the second time we all contribute together again and they will take the second money the third person takes the fourth person take the fifth person takes at the end of the fifth month we've like each person in a month has had 500 pounds extra and by doing that we've literally everyone has literally saved 500 pounds but think about that would you be able to do that on your own if you don't have any people contributing with you but the essence of that is you're motivated you're you have it in your head oh my god i have other people involved i don't want to mess up so i need to make sure i have my five my hundred pound ready and if you've taken your own 500 pound you will feel so guilty if you don't pay for the next person's turn so that is literally how i save and if you notice in my budgeting i always include my savings with my fixed deposit like i'm used to it like whether the old world is falling down no as long as i can pay my rent i should be able to put some money down for the savings because i don't want to mess up the old i job thing so you need before you do this you need to uh, make sure you know people that are really willing to do this it might be tricky this thing i'm not i'll not advise you to do with someone you don't trust because it can make friends and it can break friends because anything money that involves money literally break friends we've been doing this now for more than five years and i don't think that there's that, ever been any form of argument sometimes we take break we don't do it when things are not you know when we're not in good financial space we are like you know what we're not doing no and everybody takes break and it's helped me a lot it's helped me when i need to travel to nigeria i use the money to travel because i know i can't save that money just like that on my own that helps me in so many ways and i've been talking for 20 minutes oh my god i don't know if you guys enjoy this long talk because i feel like i talk too much i'm gonna end this right here if you guys want me to explain more because i still have more tips on how to save i can do a sit down video about that but this is how this vlog is going to be oh my god i hope you guys are not gonna hate me for this but i'm sure you guys love me because i love you <laughs> but anyway i just want to say a big thank you to everyone on that video on how, on how to be happy i am so excited like i really do appreciate the love and the comments and everything i'm gonna leave you guys right now because i feel like this is gonna be a 30 minute video oh my god i hope they like it oh well anyway i am gonna put this up because i always watch my video back again so i'm gonna go now i'll be shut up sorry jordan and jd sorry jordan and jd were not able to be in this vlog i hope you guys would forgive me for that and i love you mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought someone was watching me from my window but I do actually love you guys mm. bye for now <laughs>